So we arrived in Ardrossan uh, and uh, we're on Nelly. Very nice Halbo Grassi 36. It's uh, in excellent condition. We've been on board for a couple of hours and gone through all the cupboards and uh, found all the bits and pieces we need on all the equipment. And we're sitting down to do the passage plan, uh, looking at the weather, the tides, tidal flows. Obviously we've got an idea before we come up. Uh, we prep and plan our arrival time to coincide with a nice weather window. But uh, you have to book your travel and you have to, to guess at the time you're coming. So within a day or two is pretty good. But we've arrived and the weather's slightly changed. There's a deep low pressure coming through. Uh, it didn't look so bad a few days ago, but now it's deepened to give knots of, uh, or winds of 40 knots. Um, what do you get your tides from? Um, I like Absolute Tides. Right. Yeah, it's got loads of tidal information on there, tidal heights, times, it's got tidal streams, so I can see exactly which way the tide's going at any given time for any point in the whole of the country. And um, it's also really good for the inshore forecast right. as well. Yeah. What have we got? Well, <laughs> uh, for the following 24 hours, we've got South Easterly 7 to Severe Gale 9. Okay. Which is probably <laughs> why we're not going to be going until tomorrow. Gale. Gale running to Sunday the 13th of March at 09.52 GMT. Everybody's at Gale Force 8, veering South Easterly imminence. Gale warning Sunday the 13th of March at 03.52 GMT. RC, South Easterly, Severe Gale Force 9, continuing, decreasing Gale Force 8, soon. Gale warning, Saturday the 12th of March, at 1544 GMT. Rock all, North Easterly, Gale Force 8, imminent, back in North Westerly soon, increasing Severe Gale Force 9, later. Mallon, North Easterly, Gale Force 8, imminent, veering South Easterly soon, So we're currently holed up in Troon at the moment due to the weather. There's an awful lot of complex low pressures going on this time of year. There's a big one here south of Iceland and it's been funneling the winds up the west coast of Ireland and uh, we've suffered a little bit uh, yesterday and the day before with some strong winds up the Clyde estuary. We're coming from here which is uh, our Drossen and we left our Drossen. The wind forecast was a lot more than expected yesterday. It was, uh, we were look, looking at 20 knots max and we had uh, up to 30 knots and plus 30, 30 knots, which is uh, a lot more wind than forecast. You can often um, account for a plus or minus 20%, but it was a lot more than that. So we, we ran for a safe haven 
Uh, but we're sitting here waiting for a weather change in the, or a direction change in the weather. If I roll this on here, you can see that weather falls light this afternoon and then changes here. So we're going, leaving Troon tonight and heading down the coast around Stranra. And with this wind behind us, if I just run this on a little bit through Wednesday evening into the early hours of the morning and then on to the morning, you can see we've got nice, nice patch of weather behind us and we're heading down to Dublin. So we're coming around Stranra and heading down here to Dublin. The wind turns again slightly against us in the morning. It's 140 miles, so a 24 hour passage. If we're leaving at nine o'clock tonight, we should get there by nine o'clock tomorrow evening. Um, and then the weather comes through again. You see it getting a little bit stronger here. These patches are 30 knots. Uh, we'll be in Dublin for 24 hours. It does happen to be St. Patrick's Day, which is quite good. <laughs> but we'll hole up in Dublin and then we'll wait for this to go through on Thursday. And then looking at the forecast here, you can see it falls lighter again Thursday evening. So we'll leave Thursday evening late and we're making a passage uh, down to Milford Haven. Down here you can see we'll have the wind behind us for a little while and it does turn again against us. Um, but we should get into Milford Haven. That's the plan. The ever-changing weather of Scotland in the spring. Look at that up there. morning it's six o'clock in the morning and it's uh, light which is very nice uh, had a good few hours sleep and uh, the conditions have improved and we're doing very well the conditions are much better the seas flattened the winds eased down to 12 knots and the big wind shift we were waiting for has come the wind went from southwest to west to northwest so got it behind us for today and we're heading down to Dublin we're just off of uh, Belfast at the moment a few ships around and um, it's quite chilly but it is still March but we're doing very well and I'm happy with 75 miles in 12 hours 6.1 knots average
sunshine and we have Dublin appearing on the horizon. We are eight miles out of Dublin. We have an overnight stop tonight and tomorrow for some strong winds that are coming through the uh, Irish Sea, 30 plus knots, uh, before we can make our crossing down to Milford Haven. Uh, we seem to have very fortunately timed our arrival in Dublin with St. Patrick's Day. Might have to sample a little Guinness. Gusting 30, um, 30 plus knots through the Irish Sea right between us and Milford Haven. Uh, it's a quick blow. Uh, the, we've got some blue sky which is very nice and some sunshine but it's very breezy and very gusty out there so we're waiting that out. We can leave this afternoon at 3 o'clock. The wind goes through quite quickly and make our way to Milford Haven. And uh, Max is going to go up the mast and retrieve the Lazy Jack line which is parted from the Lazy Jack and the uh, sail bag. Uh, we've got a bit of tide race coming against us here. Look at this, disturbed waters. The wind's died uh, just because we're leaving Dublin. Uh, we're leaving on the south entrance and you can just see here we're coming through Codlin Bank and you can see the tide is all funneling through here uh, you've got six meters deep on our port side uh, 15 here and we are currently in 50 meters of water just here so you've got this whole bank sitting here and the water funneling through that's why we've got these conditions Some overfalls, we've got the tide brushing up the Bristol Channel and round St David's, and we've got the wind over the tide, so uh, a bit wet and lumpy, and we've got a swell, so we've got the lot and an east wind. We're making it. <laughs> again. Um, we've been in Milford Haven for 36 hours now. Yesterday we had uh, 30 plus knots come through uh, up to 38, gusts of up to 38, 39 knots, which wouldn't have been nice crossing the Bristol Channel, especially if you get an ebb tide and you get wind over tide, it's not very nice. So we stopped here for 36 hours. Uh, we've got lots of sunshine at the moment because we've got a high pressure sitting over England, which creates, as it revolves around clockwise, it creates the, the easterly winds down the south part of the country and in here in the, in the Bristol Channel. Uh, probably the centre of the country's got some nice warm weather uh, with light winds but uh, we've got plenty of wind, we've got some sunshine but it's very nice and uh, we're very excited to get going again. Um, port stops are nice but we want to get to see, get the job done, get this boat to the, the new owners. Um, it's a lovely boat and it's all going very well so and we've got sunshine. We've got a passage down to Land's End today uh, it's 120, let me just check my passage plan, 120 nautical miles, a six knots is going to take us 20 hours. We've timed it right to, to get to um, the Land's End so we get swung round in the tide and head up the south coast. And then Land's End to Portsmouth is 191 miles, 
Um, so total passage time, 52 hours. Hopefully we'll be in Ross Fingers uh, and touch this lovely wood uh, Tuesday and get this boat to the new owners. Blustery start out of Milford Haven with the wind blowing 25 knots. The winds eased off and the sea states calmed down, and we are um, sort of halfway. We're taking a more direct route now. We were going to tuck into the North Cornish coast, but we're taking a more direct route, sailing due south on a barrier 190. Uh, and the winds calmed down, we've got great sailing conditions. We've got a full headsail and we've shaken out the reef one reef in the main so we've just got one left and we're going to leave it in the wind's meant to get up to 20 knots as we head down towards land's end it's getting dark it's always prudent to leave a reef in and um, make manageable night watches so that's us and it's very lovely the boat's a beautiful sailor it's a sometimes a confused sea this part and it is today she just slides straight through so very nice Max has just gone off watch and he's going to cook up some meatballs and spaghetti. So I've taken over, just put the tricolour on, it's six o'clock in the evening, the sun's going to set, it's going to get dark, and it looks like we're in for a lovely night sail. Halfway between Springs and Neeps, so we could expect three and a half knots through here. But we've taken the, the North Channel up here, and we're going to slip in around this uh, Green Cardinal marker. You can see Roundhurst Point slipping in tight. We're probably going to get three knots of tide here, but uh, the weather's good. The sea state's died down, and we've got some sunshine, and we can see some yachts and other boats, which is nice. 550 miles all the way from Scotland and we haven't seen another yacht or another motorboat at all. I'm on watch, this is the best place. <laughs> Tucked under here, with a chart plotter, and a remote control auto helm. Sun's setting. Well, we're done. We've uh, cleaned all the boat, uh, shut all the stopcocks, done all the paperwork, done the galley, the heads, washed the deck, got all the salt off. Uh, the owner's son's very kindly come down and done a handover, so we've handed everything over to him. 
boat's safely moored up in Portsmouth now. Very nice.